piece of property he just bought with a cemetery on it. 27 acres. I own all this driveway, all that over there, cemetery right here, all the way up in here. That field I do not own. And there's where the cemetery's at. Go have a look. 27 acres of land with the cemetery in it. I bought the day after Thanksgiving was the closing date. 27 acres of land for $62,100. It's got this old cemetery on it. There's two big cedar trees in it. That's uh, for a long time, some people thought was an old house seat. Two old men that I've talked to uh, said it wasn't a house seat, it's a cemetery. Uh, they both said it's from the 1700s. There's the stones. I've been looking for it for years. I knew this was here. Uh, but uh, I didn't know that this was the actual cemetery one of the old men i talked to the day uh, before i bought this he come up here just looking for this property there's a stone it's got milled marks in it and a bunch of little lines old man come up here thanksgiving day it was actually come back here to look at that piece of property over there, 137 acres. He said they owned that over there in 1951 to 61. He told me this is where it was. He said 1950s, early 50s, he stood these stones back up. And he told me it was from the 1700s also. He said this was uh, cleared then. It's been growing up since the early 50s in brush. And the, the other old man down the road told me in 1951, he opened that road up there you just seen back up. So that used to be an old township road that was uh, closed down in the early 40s even. He said he drove a, well, operated an old bulldozer then to open that road up to log back here he said that he about bulldozed this over in 1951 because of course it was hard to see then there's a bunch of stones there i can't tell what's tombstones or not but here's a little wall of rocks that goes on up through there it even goes on up that way a little bit so my guess is it's the boundary for the cemetery here you can tell we're stacked but uh yeah I'd... it's an old one i need to clean it out i was looking there there's some fence line around here too I finally found out where it was. I didn't want to come back here poking around the bulldozer. Just a big bunch of pile of rocks right now is what it looks like. Need to try to investigate it and see. See uh, who's buried here and what the name of this cemetery is, if it's even got one. This is the only rock so far that I found that has anything on it. All it's got is just a bunch of little lines in it. You don't have no names in it. You can see them right there. A bunch of little lines in it. Don't know what they mean. Not much. Just a bunch of big square rocks and uh, 
two big cedar trees that uh, I was told they used cedar trees for markers back then. Somebody's got a lot of chairs here and a car seat. There's a spring right down there, swampy looking spring. But, uh, my mom and her sisters and brother used to get water out of a long time ago. County lines right over there through that field. They can't find no markers or nothing. I don't even know if these graves was even marked. Maybe knock some of the green moss off them rocks and look. Stood the big, uh, what I guess is a tombstone up. You can see more of them little lines on the backside. And a lot of what looks like chisel marks in it, I think. Couldn't find no names or nothing on it. I'm just gonna flop it back in the ground for now. Go down here and look at these big square rocks. A bunch of briars. Need to try to look for names on these rocks. I know where it's at now. Do some research on it, the courthouse maybe, and get some wire brushes and scrape them moss off them rocks and look around. Get the chainsaw, clean the brush up out of here. Briars, brush, small trees. And clean that trash out of here too. Flipped over another big stone here. It's got a bunch of them little lines in it. This is the second one I found here like that. They go all through there. I don't know what those are. Why they're there. And it looks like a bunch of chisel marks in this rock too to me. I don't know if they really are or not. But, uh, A lot of interesting stuff in that big pile. There's another big stone with some mill marks in it. See, these ones a lot better. Just weird. Anybody that knows what those are, tell me, because I have no idea. It's just a big pile of rocks here. I have no idea what those are. If they're anything. Tombstones or what. I'll try to flip that big one over right there to look at it. I haven't found any more uh, rocks with any marks or chisels in it. Chisel marks. I looked down there, didn't see any. A few of them over there do, and just that big one. I don't know how many people's buried here or who they are. But my guess is they're in here somewhere. Uh, need to try to find out how to find out who they are what the cemetery name is if it's got one well, i think it was told it was uh, the old bobo cemetery <laughs> but uh, i'm not sure there's a cemetery right over there maybe not a half mile away uh i think there's about 10 15 graves in it there's three stones in there with death dates of 1873 uh it's named as Bobo Cemetery. And uh, three of them stones are actual tombstones. The, the white 
I don't know if it's granite, tombstones, and uh, the rest of them are made out of crick rock. It was scratched and carved. Uh, I got videos of that too and pictures. But uh, here soon I'll start cleaning this area up and try to find out what I can find out about it. Anybody knows anywhere to look, please leave a comment in the comment section. Because I am not sure what to look for. Thanks for watching.